Hello, this is Luigi Tramontana. I'm going to show you the fully rigged car chassis suspension. So this car here is a fully rigged car, which means let's just um, hide all the high polys here, like so. There we go. And, uh, a lot of parts needs to be removed here and then we unhide the low polys and see what we got here so all of these parts are moving parts that you saw there if we open up these and uh, actually hide this chassis here like that. Now, if we have a look at this, we see a lot of parts here that are supposed to be moving in concert and uh, especially the suspension parts here are, there are tons of suspension uh, you see here, this is a suspension utility and it, there are tons of these now the suspension utility, it, it's like a look at constraint but with the advantage that you can also scale the look at uh, object, uh, the, the part that you want to control uh, with this centerpiece here. So for, for a tutorial on that, please uh, have a look at the suspension uh, turbo tutorial and you will understand exactly what I'm talking about here. But it's used extensively here because it makes life so much easier because things doesn't have to be perfectly aligned if you use the suspension because it sort of tie, uh, it, it stretches parts so that they still seem to be exactly in place so if we just hide these and have a look at what uh, the high poly parts actually do building it up here oh yes uh, I guess it's Camtasia doing this uh, even more slow than it uh, than it is right now like that okay great so now we have the whole rig and if we just uh, hit record here, we'll see how it works. Now it's bound to a Logitech dual action as usual here. And uh, just hit record there and it bangs down. There we go. Like you see, and I mean, this rig is really beautiful. So if we move this, uh, this, uh, the wheels here you see that the chassis is actually moving up and down so that's also a really nice thing here and if we just drive over these edges here we see that the suspension is all the parts here are actually moving together so that the suspension system is is correctly this is here we move down with it and all the parts are moving even these things are rotating here with cogwheels so the cogwheel here right there uh, that's for the this uh, left front left wheel here and uh, there are other cogwheels to rotate <coughs> to translate the rotation of the wheel to these rotation parts and you use look at constraint for example not the look at constraint you use the suspension as a look at constraint for this one for example so that it holds tightly to this end part here and uh, yeah so just uh, have a look at this rig and uh, you will get a lot of ideas on how to rig these more complex rigs here and uh, just a very very good thing to show to any advanced customers to show how extremely complex you can make these rigs with such ease that it's ridiculous yeah. 
Okay, so I think that's enough. Uh, experiment with it and have fun. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.